Round four of our Standstill Legacy Merfolk League is brought to you by the Kumena Tyrants of Patreon over at patreon.com slash fishcastmtg. Check it out. All right, we're going into game four. We've won the die roll. All right, we even got a Mistress Factory. Sweet. I like this hand. Let's keep... Uh, yeah, there are these... these merfolk tokens um, you can only get these tokens through like something from us um, you can go to cardamajigs and buy these tokens um, these hexproof merfolk tokens and the merfolk wizards I'm sorry it's a little out of focus I turned off autofocus but yeah uh, just like I said send me a DM so we can get this get that ball rolling Island and Vile. This might be the ideal standstill hand. <laughs> um, if you want, I can send you these instead. If you if you want. Um, so if, if you don't want the exclusive Patreon token, just let me know which token you want. Um, and actually, oh, I can't do that here. I can do it from my phone. Let me see. Let me get the link here. Copy. All right, buy you Lotus Petal. Okay, Twitch, where, where are you at? There we go. Uh, so there, those are the ones that, uh, those are the ones that you can get from us or from from the store. Um, so yeah, you, if you want a different token, uh, just let me know, and we'll send you the ones you want. Same with all of our winners. If you won tokens tonight and you want a different token, our opponent took the standstill. <laughs> I want to see if our opponent says anything for that. <laughs> nope. It might be Depths. Depths or Reanimator. Or Storm. That's weird that they cracked the pedal to... Hmm. Hey, what's up, Tux? Yeah, this could be, this could be de Depths or Storm. I guess with green, yeah, it's not really like reanimator colors. It's kind of weird that they crack the pedal now. I guess it's I guess they're trying to get ahead of us in case we stand still again. The the best thing about standstill against storm is like it lets you draw, you know, they anything they cast uh, lets you draw possibly into force or force or daze. Which are, you know, kind of the reason why standstill can work is like you're being able to draw into, into counter spells like that that cost you literal nothing, is really great. Let's take up vial. Some, oh, our opponent has a stop on their upkeep. There we go. Uh, we could just cut him now. I mean, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if uh, hitting them... Let me see. They chose not to shuffle. Yeah, if they didn't shuffle, then... If they did not shuffle. Should we leave it there? Yeah. Go ahead and play Mistress Factory. Oh. Silvergill, reveal Silvergill. Oh, 
Oh, Tux is a Tux is a legacy mass leg legacy Merfolk master. He actually streams every Sunday morning. He streams Legacy Merfolk, so if I wake up, I mean, I do wake up early enough, but I try to watch every Sunday morning because it's it's a lot of fun to watch him play. Uh, we actually had Tux on an episode of the show, so if you check out our YouTube channel, you can hear Tux's thoughts on Legacy and all that fun stuff. Man, we are one follower from 350 followers. Ooh, Dark Rit. Alright, we might just be dead here. Yeah. <laughs> There's the Infernal Tutor. <laughs> and we have nothing in hand to, to, to get it. We have nothing in hand to get them with. So this might be another quick one. <laughs> Ad nauseum. Let's see what they're revealing here. So we can kind of get some. So our opponent's up to nine cards in hand. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, Gavin's Nader. Tux, uh, Tux, ba I mean, as far as I know, uh, from our talks uh he plays a lot of legacy fish um but yeah all right hey man uh thanks uh, uh thanks john victor i appreciate you stopping by it was a lot of fun thank you very much for uh for the support and uh yeah like i said send me a dm and uh which tokens you want uh to twit to our twitter Ah, uh, okay. Our opponent's holding priority. So yeah, they, they could go again. What's up, weird hyena? How's it going? I bet it was. I think our opponent's trying to figure out if they if they can go off of this. So they're gonna they play Misty Rainforest. They're gonna crack for a blue source so they can brainstorm. They can pitch the past in flames and be fine. Or probably ponder. A preordain is the sorcery, right? Yeah, they're probably preordain here. Oh, they're both sorceries. So there goes the preordain. Yeah, we can definitely cut him off the red. Okay, yep, we're gonna tick up Vile, of course. Hmm. I actually like that a lot. <laughs> we know that they don't have the counter for it. Keep them off red. Play the standstill. Swing for two. Pass the turn. 
Oh yeah, we should have. Oh, they're definitely setting up for next turn, for sure. Should we vile before end of turn? We can still hit we can still hit force off the standstill though. I mean I guess you're right, it is less likely, but they can still pollute a delta for a red source. Yeah, that was pro that is probably the same. Okay, so they play the under they oh they drew and played an underground C. Okay, they're gonna dark writ into standstill. Ugh, <laughs> that was garbage. But at least we hit another blue card to force. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did they? Hmm. Okay. So now do we vial in the silver gill here? I think that's what we do. Uh, they do not. So this is... These are cards in their hand that we know of. As far as we know, they don't have. Uh, there's Cabal Ritual. So we're just waiting on our opponent to make a decision as to what they want to do here. So this is actually off by what what is actually in our opponent's hand by one card, but because um, they didn't they didn't play the polluted delta. They, uh, did they? Oh, they discarded the swamp. That's what it is. Okay. So that's what they have in hand right now. They can ponder. Oh, they pondered. But now they have four. Oh, they have dark petition. All right, sweet. There's LED. So there's the pass in flames. Pass in flames from the yard. Drew Wasteland. Okay, so now they just get to do what they want and hopefully they just miss. <laughs> yeah, well, there's Dark Rit. <laughs> Come 
Ball Ritual. They're going to thought seize away our Echoing Truth. <laughs> sure. Oh, they're thought seizing themselves. No, they're thought seizing us. They're checking to see if the coast is clear. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I coughed, so I muted myself. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, we, we were super dead. All right, so I'm pretty sure that's what we want to bring in here. Uh, we want all the counter spells we can we can pack. Um, all grave hate inventor. So probably uh, so I need to make eight cuts. Uh, so maybe Benthic Biomancer doesn't make the cut. Uh, I don't know how you feel about Spell Pierce. I don't know. Do I don't know what, what do we need Echoing Truth for? Is it just for? So four more cuts. Uh, probably Phantasmal Image, honestly, isn't that great here. Um, well, let's cut Daze because, or Pierce, because Daze is, is is a free counter spell off a off a standstill draw, or a free spell Pierce off a off a uh, standstill draw. Um, yeah, that's fair. I mean. That's fair. I just like I just like hitting it off of standstill. Uh, oh right, because yeah, they uh, they do. Uh, yeah, they'll they'll often side that in. I, I remember. Um, uh, empty the warrens. All right, uh, let's go with this and see what happens. And then uh, gotta fill up the warrens. get to click the button no that's fine um i like this this so far is is all right i don't like the two vials but i like this cage and relic of progenitus i mean this does keep them off of uh i don't know what what artifact destruction they bring in but we'll keep this Now, do we lead with the relic? Lead with relic or lead with vial? Jam vial? Yeah, I mean, if they have it turn one, then they just got it. Um, but at least Aether, uh, playing Aether vial turn one lets us uh, lets us at least kind of lead to being able to have a board. <laughs> 
There's underground sea from our opponent. If they just got the 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 god hand, then all right. There's thought seize. They're probably gonna take the cage. They have a uh, they have a few choices there. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Oh, they took curse catcher. That's interesting. Soft counter on a stick. <laughs> oh, I mean, we can't vial it in, I suppose. That's that's fair. Let's see what we draw. We drew a Lord of Atlantis. Um, doesn't allow you to hold a curse to vial. Yeah. That's true. We can't uh, we can't ambush them with curse with curse catcher this way. Um, I don't know. I just I just think that like graft digger's cage is like so much more of a death nail. Now they have they have another hoop to jump through. And then next turn, all right. So they brains they get a bloodstained mire. They play bloodstained mire and then cast brainstorm. That's kind of a weird ordering how they did that, though. They tapped the Underground Sea, played the Bloodstained Mire, and then cast the Brainstorm off the mana. I don't know what they were doing there. <laughs> oh yeah, we want to give we want to give them as many headaches as we can. Yeah, I mean, because after this we can we can slam relic and then uh, start eating away at their yard, and then on top of that we can uh, uh, we can start advancing our board with lords um, as it goes. Then, because um, I mean, winning through creatures is fine, but uh, every time that I've beaten storm, it's it's mostly like like you said, Tux, like just just giving them too many hurdles to get through, and then they just they they sputter out, you know. So it's like, not only do they have to do this, but then they have to do that, and then they have to do this, and then they have to do that. <laughs> Be a blue deck. Oh, that's a, that's a fun merfolk uh, emote. Remember, if you be, if you sub to us on Twitch, uh, you get these merfolk emotes as well. So uh, some great art by Ishtin. We also have sub badges. All right, we got a new follower, sweet. Mitch Russo, thank you for following. I appreciate you, bud. Uh, it's always cool to have more people. All right, yeah, there, there it is. And then there's the the sub, the one month sub sub badge, and then uh, Kyle has the six month sub badge somewhere in there. But apparently, I've been subbed to myself for nine months. <laughs> Hooray for being subbed to yourself. It's all good, man. Thank you. Uh, that actually puts puts us to 350 followers, I think. Oh, weird hyena. Also, yeah, awesome. Yeah, we're at 350 now. Sweet. 350 followers. Not bad. Not bad at all. Our opponent uh, brainstormed. Did they shuffle? Uh. Yeah. There's LED. Oh, yeah, there's the there's the alert, Wild Hyena. So you're actually be 351. There's Dark Ritual. Looks like our opponent's gonna go for it. There's Infernal Tutor. So I wonder what they're I wonder how they're expecting to get through this. Okay, so they, they empty the Warrens, sure. Now we just really need to hit a land and... Uh, one of our Echoing Truce.
Well, I mean, it's winning if we can't hit more lands. <laughs> Um, play the second vial. Yeah, I mean, honestly, they can't really get there. You know, with what's with what's in play right now. So they have one card in hand. Duress. They have to take a non-creature, non-land card. Okay, so they're gonna take the relic. That's fine at this point. Yeah, we needed to hit a land for sure. Yes. This one, no. Well, there's our land. I mean, we just need blockers now. So, I mean, six are going to get through. And then now we just need to hit an Echoing Truth, and then we just really blow him out. Oh no! I should have done that before, but whatever. Them getting one more damage in really is inconsequential. I mean, they win either way if, if we don't hit if we don't hit E Truth like right now. It, it would be the more disciplined play for sure. No. Oh. All right, Silvergill, come on, buddy. <laughs> Wouldn't it be hell if we draw another silver gill? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so basically unless they have their own uh unless they have their own echoing truth to get rid of all of our lords <laughs> all right we win sweet all right going to game three so um i mean do we cut the lords for the for the soft counters here is that what we do, or do we just keep what we have? I mean, I think what we have is fine. I don't, I don't see any need to really change it, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, thanks again for the input, Tux. I really appreciate it. Oh, well. Hmm. Well, I'm not... A, I mean, the sand is fine. Because we can Curse Catcher, and then we also have... So we have Curse Catcher, and then we also have Force of Will backup, but we don't have much beyond that. This is just like a stumbling block for our opponent. 
Uh, I mean, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. I, I just, I don't, yeah, let's keep it, I guess. Yeah, it's it's such a it's such a on the edge. Oh, and our opponent gets to go first. Never mind. So we might we might draw that draw a land, but our opponent plays Misty Rainforest, cracks it immediately. Yeah, I I'm I was so on uh, duress. Uh, so I mean they just take Force of Will here, right? All right, thanks, thanks, Josh. I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming by and hanging out for a little while. All right. Okay. So our opponent did take the force of will. I'm not stoked about it. Hmm. Uh. I mean, Wasteland doesn't do any, like, so, like, if we Wasteland this Underground Sea and they have another land, we've done nothing. Um, so I think our best bet here is to Island Curse Catcher. That at least, uh... Yeah. It looks like Tux agrees with me in the chat. Yeah, Wasteland doesn't Wasteland doesn't do anything for us. Like, like I said, if we Wasteland their Underground Sea and they have another land, like we've done nothing, and then they they just have carte blanche to do whatever they want. Yeah, Wasteland on the draw is not fantastic. But Phantasmal Imaging, a Curse Catcher, and then hiding behind a standstill is not terrible. Yeah, thanks again, Josh, for stopping by. It was a lot of fun having you in. even charging what oh is it just because that piece of paper was in the way are you kidding me <laughs> all right so our opponent plays a volcanic island see now we're getting somewhere so like i would hit a volcanic island for days d-a-y-z d-a-z-e <laughs> I mean, we don't we don't curse catch or anything now, if possible. But uh, we do because we do want to we do want to phantasmal image it. So we have two curse catchers. Best we can do, honestly, right now. Is our opponent passing? They're just they are moving to their second main. Oh yeah. Hmm. So I'm going to keep Wasteland. Our opponent doesn't know about the Wasteland yet. Um, so I'm going to play the Muta Vaults. Yeah, we're going to play the Muta Vaults. Uh, keep the Wasteland behind for now. And then we'll Phantasmal Image copying Curse Catcher. Not to mention that our opponent is running out of time pretty significantly. I don't remember if, if uh, I saw if our opponent was double queuing or not.
Like the only way that this could get any better right now is to play is to draw an Aether Vial like right now. So we could play Wasteland. Um Well, I mean, I think so right now right now the the best deal is to um is to play the Wasteland stance. I mean, this all depends on what our opponent does now. Um, but being able to Wasteland their Volcanic Island is really hot. I like that idea a lot. Um, yo. There, okay, so there's a, there's a Lotus Petal. Dark Rit. Okay, so they're gonna brainstorm. All right, and we just win. Our opponent couldn't get there. Sweet. 